Welcome to the Data Analysis Software Training, SPSS for Data Analysis. I am your instructor, Elijah Pia, and in this video, we will learn about the SPSS output window and even how to delete output you no longer need. The results of every analysis conducted in SPSS are displayed in the output window. The output window has two window panes, left and right. The left pane gives an outline of the output, whereas the right pane displays the actual output of the analysis. We all agree that the output is actually the objective of all analysis conducted in the program. Let us go to the program and understand what we are talking about. As you can see on the screen, this is the left pane and the right pane. A typical output of an analysis is displayed in the window. In the left pane, we have the outline which are grouped under topics. In this case, the topics are codebook, frequencies, frequency table under frequencies, and then even the bar chart under frequencies. And these can be collapsed or expanded using the small blue button which lies on the left hand side of the topics. So if you want to collapse the codebook, you simply click on this minus sign and it will collapse the entire outline under the codebook. And you can also click on it to expand it. This version of the program is version 25 and I am certain other versions would have similar display. The right pane displays the output. You will also notice that several of the two bar icons are identical to those in the SPSS data editor window. These buttons do the same thing that they do in the data editor but with the output in this window instead of the data. For example, clicking the print icon prints the output instead of the data. You can print the output to PDF or even print it directly from your printer. Now, if you no longer need a certain output, simply click to highlight and press the delete key on the keyboard. In this case, let us scroll down and come to the age of respondents. Now, this bar chart actually is not what we are looking for. If we do not like this object, you click on the object and then you press delete on your keyboard and it will delete. If you think the outputs are somehow large in the output window, you can resize them as well. Click on the output object and hover your mouse to the edge at the corner. Click and drag inwards or outwards to resize. Thus far, one of the most important things to learn about the SPSS output window is the use of the outline view on the left of the screen as we talked about earlier. The right hand side displays the output of the SPSS procedures that were run and the left is the outline like a table of contents without page numbers. The SPSS output is actually composed of a series of output objects. These objects may be titles, like we have codebook, we have frequencies, it can be tables or chaff, among other things. Each of the objects is listed in the outline view, and every object outlined here actually is associated with a title in the output window. One particularly useful command when you are working with the output is the insert test command. Simply go to insert, click on new test, and an SPSS test object is inserted. In this box, you can type comments to remind yourself about an output, like frequency table is displayed below. Once you have typed your comment, Click on another SPSS object to deselect the test object. To this end, you've learned what the SPSS output window is. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.